usually it's coffee when you got adrenaline, am I right? You know, where, where does, when does the KLX suck? And the answer to that is, wow, she's overgrown. Definitely been a minute since uh, someone's been in here. Yeah, I don't know, can you see the trail? I can't see the trail, I can't see the goddamn thing. Jesus, where the f are you? <laughs> I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. We're back out here in another riding park. We're back in our own kind of neck of the woods. It's the first time we've been here with the KLX. Whoa! Sandy. As you can see, we're at a pit right here. This is cool. Woo! <laughs> All right, here's our own neck of the woods, little whoop section. This is fun as hell. Oh, she's dark in here. <laughs> oh, those are so fun. Oh yeah, jump into that one. Right into it this morning. Up and at them first thing in the morning, right to her. A little tight and twisties in the trees here. Some nice zippies for first thing in the morning, wake you up. Who needs coffee when you got adrenaline, am I right? Some good flow to this stuff. Oh wow, she's really... Wow, she's overgrown. Definitely been a minute since uh, someone's been in here. Wow. <laughs> it is bushy. Good thing I don't have allergies or anything like that, you know? Coming through this thick of stuff. Ow! Jesus. Can't see a damn thing. Jesus! Hill climb, a blind hill climb. Those are always interesting. What is there? Oh, snap. I don't know, couldn't see it. We went over it though. So those of you that watched the last series there, we just did our camping trip. Curious to know, what did you guys think of the vlog? Did you guys enjoy that style of content where it wasn't just pure dirt biking? Or would you prefer it just to be pure dirt biking? Would you like me to do more of the vlog type stuff in the future? Or do you want to just stick to the just pure enduro content? I'd like to know just uh, by letting me know down in the comment section below. Definitely curious to see what you guys like. I had a lot, I'll tell you what though, I had a lot of fun filming the vlog and it was quite enjoyable. Something a little different. Yeah, you guys let me know what you guys thought of it and uh, maybe we can do some more if you guys really enjoyed it. And if not, then oh well, we can film some more enduro content, no problem. Yew! Ah! Getting attacked in the face, swollen bugs, love it. Can't see, kind of put my head down. At least we got goggles on, I don't have to close my eyes. It's pretty hard to ride with your eyes closed, that's for sure. Uh, there should be a riverbed climb here, I think. All branches in the head super big old loose pebbly rocks here loose sticks loose everything now back into a hill climb once again the last time i was in here was on the freaking apollo and man oh man did this bike ever do better than the apollo in here like so much better and then we'll go around the corner here and it starts to just go up 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 wow and normally all this is just like a big ass mud puddle how soft is it or not no Up we go. Woo! Man, this thing just climbs it effortlessly. This bike's just so good, man. I haven't been to this viewpoint. All right, stopped, had a little snack and a little lunch. Now it's time to go adventure some more. Deep stuff down there. No idea what we're gonna run into on this downhill, so I'm just kind of being a little cautious. <sighs> Ow! Woo! Ho ho! Whoa! 
slippery. Ow. Lots of stuff hitting you in the face there. All right, now we're just kind of ripping up this riverbed. I do believe this is a uh, little bit of a crossover trail that we got here. Ah! Ah! So many goddamn branches whipping you in the face. Thicker than I remember. Yep. He said it's thicker than he remembers, that's for sure. It's definitely, definitely overgrown. Up in a second, stand up. Holy shit. It's like super, super rough riverbed here. A lot of grass growing over it, really. Mm, son of a bitch. Lots of tree fall in here. Lots and lots and lots of it. Making kind of our own trail in here. Now I've got this super crazy friggin' riverbed to go down. Jesus. See at the bottom. So you guys always seem to ask me where does the suspension like you know where, where does when does the KLX suck? And the answer to that is when you're in this kind of stuff, and you'll see in a moment, once we get going here, and you get a pretty fast rhythm going, you come up to something that's a little bit high impact, there's not enough high speed dampening to take the impact and you bottom out. That's where the suspension on this falls short. Luckily, there are a couple modifications you can do to the KLX to uh, make it have better suspension, but it still depends on what you want to do with the bike, which direction you go with the modification, as you can do the uh, lighter upgrade that will still keep it geared towards trails, which is the BBR spring upgrade for the front and rear. But if you want to do something more, you're just doing straight jumps and motocross, you can switch the, uh, oh shit, 85, uh, KX85 Kawasaki two-stroke motocross forks onto this. I just believe you need to do some minor modifications to the uh, head tube of the fork. But it's when you're going like this fast and you hit something that's a little bit substantial that it just doesn't have enough enough suspension or stiff enough suspension to take it up and absorb it. Like there, you, you can feel the back end almost bottom out. We got to the bottom of that trail and stuff. We've been kind of ripping up here. We just went and checked out the mud pit. If you guys know the spot, you know the spot. If uh, referencing to some of the videos you've had at the mud pit, you should definitely check those videos out if you want to see me playing in the mud because that was so much fun over there. But there's no mud pit today. It's uh, completely a lake. So we're going to keep on ripping her this way. This is a nice kind of like flowy, fun section. There's like lots of dips and potholes and you're bobbing and weaving and rocks and things and whoop, whoop, and over here and turn right. and It's a lot of fun. So this is where we used to be able to come and ride up the road, but now we're going to take the little bypass trail. Thanks bud! Have a good day! I'd say most of you that watch the videos might know where we are. This beautiful spot, magnificent spot. It's deep. Yep, it's deep. A little bit deep, eh? Yeah. Well, now we are racing up this mountainside to try and beat the rain. Climbing up over this mountain. It's starting to rain and it's gonna come down good. We're trying to get out of here. Now here she comes. Would you look at that gray ass wall coming here. Holy over. 
overgrown Batman. I can't see anything. Okay, hello. Whoa! Something was there. Jesus. Where the frick are we going? Woo! Wow. Was on that one. Nope, you Not just blind. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, so we're just going for a dirt bike ride in the woods. <laughs> in the bush. Holy crap, what the frick, man? Yeah, I don't know. Can you see the trail? I can't see the trail. I can't see the goddamn thing. Jesus, where the fuck are you? <laughs> I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. <laughs> I think so. That was some thick bush, boys. Ow. Uh, yep. Can't even see. Oh. I can't see anything. Jesus. Ow. Jeez, I don't think this is the right way to go. Oh, they're everywhere down my neck.